I ride around with the mop, that's a stick. 33 shots in the Glock, that's a dick. That's a 50 dick. round drum, call that bit 50 cent. 100 round drum on the Drake, it's a hit. It's a hit. It ain't no question, you play, you get hit. Pull up and let the bitch pray to that sick. Right. Then I go pray, ask to say you for strength. For strength. I'm in creator, the savior, I'm him. I'm Shout him. out the gates, we break winners like him. Like I told my son, I'ma get us a M. I'ma, get I'ma keep grinding, I do it for them. No DJ Kelly, but I'm trying to win. Trying to Stand win. on that business, yeah, I get it in. They second line behind you and your kin. Riding that farm, you know that it's tennis. I got a hundred, my bro got the fish. Born in the slums, I was raised in the trenches. If your nigga turn status a witness. Slum 1200, GGI mob shit, and I'm back. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tell y'all another little ep. And I'm gonna tell y'all an ep about how me and two of my little cousins thought we was being slick and end up getting a business in the kitchen, stealing, trying to sneak Kool Aid, sneaking, getting Kool Aid. So one day my grandma cooking the day, she cooking some um some red gravy. She was cooking up, she had a big old pot of red gravy and meatballs on the stove. <clears throat> so my auntie, one of my aunties was cold blooded with the Kool-Aid. One of my aunties, she cold blooded with the Kool-Aid. I don't know if she's still cold blooded with the Kool-Aid now, but she used to be cold blooded with the Kool-Aid. She probably fell off now. <clears throat> But my auntie was cold blooded with the Kool-Aid, so she had fixed some Kool-Aid. So my grandma had this old pot. My great grandma, she had this old pot, like she used to always cooking, and the pot was like, it was unlevel. Like to where if you like, you know, moving around in the kitchen, the pot the pot of rock on the stove. <clears throat> so we ain't paying attention to it at the time, you know what I'm saying? We young. You know, mischievous just running through the house, like sneaking doing stuff. So the, 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 uh, the pot on the stove. <coughs> so, man, we know my auntie didn't fix the Kool-Aid. We know my auntie didn't fix the Kool-Aid, so we go up in the kitchen. You did? We sneak up in the kitchen. We sneak up in the kitchen, we get some of the Kool-Aid. Now, we running back out the kitchen. We like, oh, the ghost coming, the ghost coming. It's that in the third, you know what I'm saying? We playing like a ghost after us, like. So it sort of looked like we got a reason to be running in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Like going in the kitchen like as if we playing. So we had and did that like two, three times. Like the third time, we did it. Like we run in the kitchen. Like as we running out the kitchen saying, the ghost coming, the ghost coming. One of my one of my one of my little cousins, she like right under me. She like a year younger than me. No, my her little brother, he like a year younger than her or two years younger than her, something like that. He fall, like as we go, it's a shotgun house, so as we leave, as we going through the, from the kitchen, you know, going through the door from the kitchen to the second bedroom, my little cousin fall, but we fall right on side the stove, cause the stove sit right on side the doorway. Like I said, it's a shotgun house, y'all know how a lot of them shotgun houses made. It's like as soon as you walk in the kitchen, the, the stove on your left, you know what I'm saying, against the wall. So as, he, as we running back out of the kitchen, my little cousin, fall bam when he fall he fall in between the stove and i think the washer was right here it was the washer or the dryer it was a the stove against the wall then against this wall right here it was a washer and the dryer so when he fall he fall in between the stove and the washer or the dryer whichever one that was right there and my little cousin she was kind of heavy set <clears throat> so excuse me so when he fall she fall on top of him that's her little brother she fall on top of him <clears throat> now bam Cause all of us running out the kitchen like behind each other so like we basically all then tripped over each other so when she fell i'm coming behind her i fall i fall on top of her now as we getting up as we trying to get up the pot already coming off the stove already because like i said the pot rock like it was like it hadn't been used so much to where the bottom of it was round looking and it was burnt you know what i'm saying at the bottom so it didn't take nothing for the pot to fall off the stove that's why my grandma always told us don't be running in and out of that kitchen don't play in that kitchen so bam we getting up now as we getting up the pot no i'm trying to see because i caught i caught all the shit i think i fell yeah matter of fact i'm lying i fell first my little cousin the my little, my little cousin the boy he fell on top of me and his sister fell on top of him no he fell i fell first and she fell on top of me and he fell on top of her <clears throat> because he ain't get burnt at all so bam, he he hurried like as he getting up, he didn't got out the way. You feel me? The pot ain't coming down yet. 
So as she getting up, the pot coming down. So she get up and she catch a little bit of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like a, just a little bit of it. To where it just like basically dabbed her like a, a couple drops. So when that bit fell, I'm still on the floor. Like they didn't got out of there, you feel me? Man, the whole pot that fell on me, boom. I'm talking about all the red gravy, man. That shit was so hot. I'm talking about, man, that shit was so hot. I was like seven years old. You know what I'm saying? Like seven years old. Probably like six, yeah, I was like six years old. Like six or seven years old. <clears throat> so bam. Man, that shit was so hot. I shit was so hot. The pot coming down. So she get up. Slum 1200 GGI mob shit, and I'm back. <clears throat> so I'm gonna tell y'all another little ep. And I'm gonna tell y'all an ep about how me and two of my little cousins thought we was being slick and end up getting a business in the kitchen, stealing, trying to sneak Kool Aid, sneaking, getting Kool Aid. So one day my grandma cooking your day, she cooking some, um, some red gravy. She was cooking up. She had a big old pot of red gravy and meatballs on the stove. <clears throat> so my auntie, one of my aunties was cold blooded with the Kool-Aid. One of my aunties, she cold blooded with the Kool-Aid. I don't know if she's still cold blooded with the Kool-Aid now, but she used to be cold blooded with the Kool-Aid. She probably fell off now. <clears throat> but my auntie was cold blooded with the Kool-Aid, so she had fixed some Kool-Aid. So my grandma had this old pot. My great grandma, she had this old pot like she used to always cook in and the pot was like, it was unlevel. Like to where if you, like, you know, moving around in the kitchen, the pot, the pot will rock on the stove. <clears throat> so we ain't paying attention to it at the time. You know what I'm saying? We young, you know, mischievous, just running through the house, like sneaking, doing stuff. So the, 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 uh, the pot on the stove, So man, we know my auntie didn't fix the Kool-Aid. We know my auntie didn't fix the Kool-Aid, so we go up in the kitchen. You did, we sneak up in the kitchen. We sneak up in the kitchen, we get some of the Kool-Aid. Now we running back out the kitchen. We like, oh, the ghost coming, the ghost coming. It's that and the third, you know what I'm saying? We playing like a ghost after us, like, so it, so it looked like we got a reason to be running in the kitchen, you know what I'm saying? Like going in the kitchen, like as if we playing. So we had and did that like two, three times. Like the third time we did it, like we run in the kitchen. Like as we running out the kitchen saying, the ghost coming, the ghost coming. One of my like one of my one of my little cousins, she like right under me. She like a year younger than me. No, my her little brother, he like a year younger than her. Or two years younger than her, something like that. He fall. Like as we go, it's a shotgun house. So as we leave, as we going through the from the kitchen, you know, going through the door from the kitchen to the second bedroom, my little cousin fall, but we fall right on side the stove because the stove sit right on side the doorway. Like I said, it's a shotgun house. Y'all know how a lot of them shotgun houses made. It's like as soon as you walk in the kitchen, the, the stove on your left, you know what I'm saying, against the wall. So as he, as we running back out of the kitchen, my little cousin fall, bam. When he fall, he fall in between the stove and I think the washer was right here. It was the washer or the dryer. It was a, the stove against the wall, then against this wall right here, it was a washer and a dryer. So when he fall, he fall in between the stove and the washer or the dryer, whichever one that was right there. And my little cousin, she was kind of heavy set. <clears throat> so, excuse me. So when he fall, she fall on top of him. That's her little brother. She fall on top of him. <clears throat> now, bam, because all of us running out the kitchen, like behind each other. So like we basically all then tripped over each other. So when she fell, I'm coming behind her, I fall. I fall on top of her. Now as we getting up, as we trying to get up, the pot already coming off the stove already, cause like I said, the pot rock. Like it was, like it hadn't been used so much to where the bottom of it was round looking and it was burnt, you know what I'm saying, at the bottom. So it didn't take nothing for the pot to fall off the stove. That's why my grandma always told us, don't be running in and out of that kitchen, don't play in that kitchen. So bam, we getting up, now as we getting up, the pot, no, I'm trying to see because I caught I caught all the shit. I think I fell. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm lying. I fell first. My little cousin, the 
my my little cousin, the boy, he fell on top of me, and his sister fell on top of him. No, he fell. I fell first, and she fell on top of me, and he fell on top of her, <clears throat> because he ain't get burnt at all. So bam, he he hurried like as he getting up, he didn't got out the way. You feel me? The pot ain't coming down yet. So as she getting up, the pot coming down. So she get up and she catch a little bit of it, like you know what I'm saying, like a, just a little bit of it. To where it just like basically dabbed her like a, a couple drops. So when that bit fell, I'm still on the floor. Like they didn't got out of there, you feel me? Man, the whole pot that fell on me. Boom. I'm talking about all the red gravy, man. That shit was so hot. I'm talking about man, that shit was so hot. I was like seven years old. You know what I'm saying? Like seven years old. Probably like six yeah, I was like six years old. Nine years old. You know, man, the whole pot that fell on me, boom. I'm talking about all the red gravy, man. That shit was so hot. I'm talking about, man, that shit was so hot. I was like seven years old. You know what I'm saying? Like seven years old. Probably like six, yeah, I was like six years old. Like six or seven years old. <clears throat> so, bam. Man, that shit was so hot. I jumped. Like, and when it hit me, I must have went in shock. You heard me? Man, I jumped off the floor on the washer from the washer on the dryer from the dryer to the sink then I jumped off the sink and ran in the bathroom and jumped in the tub and turned the water on the cold water I'm like I say I'm young so I'm thinking that shit gonna cool me off and it's gonna stop you feel what I'm saying man that shit made all my skin water coming off like, I mean, that bitch panicking, going crazy, you heard me? Like, my little cousin, and them ran to the front room, you feel me? So now that make all my people go to running back there, you feel me? Because they hit me hollering and shit up in there. And I guess my little cousin, and them went out there and told them. I didn't got, I didn't got flame, I didn't got ghost riding in the kitchen, you feel what I'm saying? Man, they come in that bitch, I'm blistered up. I got buku skin gone. I'm in that bitch, going out, burning like... Dante's Inferno, you hear me? Look, I don't know what that happened. I'm out of it. That red gravy and shook me. Man, that shit was, man, dog. It felt like nigga had to put me in the pot with the meatballs. That's how hot that shit was. Like, real talk. I know how the meatballs feel. Because I felt it. I know how the meatballs feel in that red gravy. And it ain't no joke, bro. I'm talking about I had onions stuck on me. Like, man, all type of, like, green bell peppers. Man, all that shit was stuck on my body, man. They had to get that shit off. Like, I really was, man. But the only thing about the shit, it really wasn't, like, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It just took a lot of my skin off, dude. You feel what I'm saying? Man, that shit was serious. I ain't lying. My grandma them say I was so bad, they ain't much knew I know how to pray. My grandma said when they got me to children's hospital, I was saying all type of prayers on the stretcher. When the people was on on the, on the gurney thing, when they was bringing me in the hospital, my grandma said I was just praying. Like after I got right and shit, they used to be laughing at me, like saying that, yeah, your ass was so bad. We ain't know your ass know how to pray. You, you were saying your prayers and everything on, 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 on the, when the ambulance got you in the hospital. Tell me that you gonna die and all this and that. And yeah, your ass was bad as shit. We ain't even know you know how to pray. I'm like, man, that's crazy. That, that red gravy had a nigga out of there praying and everything like, I ain't lying, that shit was hot. For real. You don't know how it, how it feel till you feel some of that. And I'm talking about a whole big pot of it. Man, come on, man. That shit like to kill me. Good thing it ain't hit my face or nothing. You feel what I'm saying? It really just hit, it really hit me, you know what I'm saying? Like all down here. In my leg and shit, like. Like that bit really like. Had me blistered up, like, you feel me? I had a whole sling and everything from that shit. Excuse me. Yeah, man, I was I was hit. Man, I got some, I, I, that made me think about some other little apps where I didn't got messed up doing shit, you feel me? I'm gonna tell y'all a lot of this shit, man, because I didn't, I didn't had a lot of little painful moments. You feel what I'm saying? I used to stay busting myself up. Getting busted in the head with shit, all type of shit, man. But y'all get in that comment section, man. Slum 1200, GGI mob shit. Y'all hit that like button, man. Make sure them notifications turned on. Hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. 
and stay plugged. GGI my shit. Get rich, I'ma die trying to make it to the top. Shit, and anybody in the way, I'm putting them in a the box. Yeah, it's gotta get it, I'ma stack it till it rocks. Yeah, it's gotta get it, I'ma stack it till I drop. Shit, I went from stealing cars to went to selling rocks. Now I pull up on a nigga with the 30, let it pop. Hit him with the bitch until the motherfucker stop. Then it's right back on the block, screaming death to all my eyes.